one of the questions I'm seeing a lot of in the chat is about political parties. And I'm sure particularly uh, President Jefferson and General Washington, you might have uh, some thoughts on that. So I will let you all share your thoughts on political parties and you know, feel free to have conversation. It, it seems to me that party and faction have tended to cause more than a few intestine difficulties uh, throughout the history of the world up to this time. And that we should be prudential with respect to how we might proceed when we begin to uh, entertain more uh, circumscribed and parochial interests. Perhaps I can even go so far as to say selfish interests. Uh, as opposed to the interests of the country, generally speaking. General Washington, if I may, you I, were able to stand as one person, the whole country was able to unite around and I inherited a divided country. I learned over time that while, while what you say is true about the baneful effects of party, that parties are needed and necessary as long as the members of those parties do not put their party over their country. Because if we have two parties, they will, and they are legitimate, they are respected, there will always be, as I put it, a watchdog. There will always be someone watching over the, the party that's in power and checking on them to check, to, to be a check and a balance. Uh, you see, human beings have a natural affinity to get together in groups, uh, lodges and clubs and fraternal organizations where like-minded gentlemen can get together and discuss things and get things done and do charitable work. It is not uh, unusual for this to manifest itself in politics too. Like-minded individuals who get together and form a political party, which uh, I've seen in my time. I started out as a Whig and uh, the Whig party sort of fell apart in the 1850s and we all became Republicans. And then for my second presidential campaign, we formed the Union Party so the Republicans and Democrats who were in favor of pursuing the war to its uh, end could uh, get together and support me. So uh, it doesn't matter, I think, what the name over the, the door is, as long as the gentlemen are like-minded and willing to do what needs to be done to achieve uh, a, the uh, final result. Uh one of the most difficult things that I had to deal with it within my lifetime, of course, was the uh, the, the, the lack of uh, civil service reform, that people were not being chosen for government posts because of their uh, qualifications, but rather because of their loyalty to party. And I wanted to make sure, and I did so uh, through enforcement of the Pendleton Act, to make sure that uh, those who would be uh, nominated or those who would be applying for government positions would be tested to make sure that they held qualifications to actually merit the job itself. And that was one of the most important things was to make sure that those who would serve realize that they are not serving a party, but they are serving the country. There was a very famous writer who once said that politicians and diapers should be changed frequently and for the same reason. I knew there was a reason I liked you, President Lincoln. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming to my funeral. <laughs>